Many schools throughout the Ohio Valley have either received threats or have gone on lockdown out of an abundance of caution today. Some schools are closed altogether. They get the word out to parents by all call. And now parents wait for word every day, which many say adds an extra layer of stress and fear to their lives. DK Wright takes a look at how this impacts every family with a child in school. Mother of two recalls one father's story in the Uvalde school shooting. His child was so ravaged by bullets, he could only identify her body by her shoes. Now every day, she memorizes what her daughter is wearing. Her entire outfit, how her hair is, um, if she has fingernail polish on, if she has a different color shoe, whatever she's wearing, I try to memorize. Lord forbid in the event that an actual school shooter would come in, um, I would be able to identify her. Today she called off work and kept her kindergartner home from school because her school district did a late announcement of a lockdown. Because in today's world I would rather err on the side of caution and keep her home. These threats, school closures and lockdowns are all adding to the worries parents already have juggling schedules, pressures, and children's rising mental health issues. Jamie Davis, licensed professional counselor, sees these concerns mounting. Absolutely, as a parent myself, I see it with my communication with other parents, with the school systems. This is definitely an added stress. One suggestion she has for parents, learn your school's plan, including the stages of lockdowns. Check their website. Learn what a code yellow is as opposed to a code red, and then create your own plan with your child. Now, my son, what's your plan? What will you do? Wh who will you call? Where will you be? You know, making a plan always gives us a sense of calm and preparedness. In Wheeling, DK Wright for 7 News, working for you. She says while parents don't want to focus on fear, they must still take every threat seriously. She says almost all school shooters give a warning, and that can include posting their plan on social media or telling their friends to stay home that day.